aspiring developers. Welcome back. You all know the drill. If you don't know the drill, I'm going to explain it to you. We're going to talk about a job offer right now. But before we do, I want to encourage you to take this video, wherever you're seeing it, repost it and share it to your network. It's Monday, uh, March 25th. And somebody out there has got the Monday blues, right? And they're looking for a job. And they need to hear something positive. And this is your opportunity to share some positive news with them. Help them lift their spirits and help them stay engaged with the job market, with the job search. Because it's tough out there. So let's talk about our job offer coming to us uh, from an alumni in a uh, low cost of living area. So I mentioned this for newcomers. Low cost of living because sometimes you think that oh, man, there's only a job in the high cost of living areas like L.A., San Francisco, New York, those big major metro areas where you think of traditionally like there's just a lot of activity. And then, as I say, small town USA might not necessarily have opportunities. And this is false. There are opportunities everywhere. And so I'm here to talk to you about a job offer that one of our developers, one of our alumni was able to secure. It took them almost four months to get there. They started right before Christmas. So they went through Christmas, they went through the new year, and they landed a job. And so let me tell you about their background because a lot of the doom and gloomers and the naysayers are going to come up and tell you, well, this person must have had a computer science degree and they must have had a background in technology. False. False, false, false. This particular alumni has no background in technology, none. Absolutely none. No background in technology. There's technology and way down the road is him. Now, what was he doing before he got to Salvio? He was involved in the gig economy. He was doing and then for many years worked in fast food industry. So if you're looking at your resume and you're looking at your background and you think that somehow it's, it's holding you back. It's not it. It's not it entirely. What you need is to put yourself in a position that you have where you have support, where you have the necessary resources to make this this type of effort successful, as this particular alumni did. So with no background professionally or otherwise in technology, what kind of degree did this person study? It must have been a physicist, must have done something in applied mathematics, must have been an engineer building bridges and all this stuff, right? False. No bachelor's degree at all. None. All right. What was they, what did he study at community college? No AA. No degree whatsoever. So the job must be pretty crappy. False. He's getting paid really well to work from home. He's getting paid really work really well to work from home. He's got no background in technology. His background says he should be behind a grill, probably. And <clears throat> the degree, no degree, no degree. How did this person do this? As I, If you've been watching my videos, you know, look, this is how they did it. They woke up every morning and decided, I'm going to go get a job. And I'm going to use the resources and I'm going to use the techniques and I'm going to use everything that I learned at Sabio including go back to the Savio Nation, log on every day at, at Slack channel, go attend the workshops that we have, go talk to my peer mentors, go through the extra courses that we have, hit up Liliana, hit up Gregorio, hit up my instructor at will. You do these things long enough, day after day, you wake up again. What am I going to do today? I'm going to go get a job. And I'm going to call up Sabio. I'm going to call up Gregorio. I'm going to log in. I'm going to do the things that they've asked me to do. And good things are going to happen. Not because it's magic. Because it takes a lot of hard work. <clears throat> and you're not doing it on your own. You're doing it with an entire community that we've built. And that we've been building here for 11 years. Last thing I want to say about the job. Because it's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, they have regular benefits, 401k matching, whatnot, but also just the interesting, sometimes you get you get put into these industries uh, where, uh, you know, depending on the time of the year, there's a little bit more activity. So depending on the time of the year, it's also eligible for overtime. So can you imagine that doing overtime, getting paid overtime, that's just being salary, but like actually getting paid to work overtime in this great field, in 
they go out there to grow. They're out there to learn. Someone's going to be paying this particular person to learn and grow and move their career forward. If you want to move your career forward and you think that there's something missing, then come and apply here at Salvio. We're waiting for you. We start courses every month. And in fact, this is March 25th, next Monday. Next Monday could be your first day in the Salvio Nation. And it'll start you on the path to getting a job and being spotlighted here at the breaking good news of Salvio in a few months, four or five months. Have a great day, developers. Remember, code small, dream big.